Sideshow is home to some of the world's most extreme stunts. So ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Today, we're taking you behind the scenes of our world. Welcome to Game Thing. <laughs> you didn't have to pull it so hard. At the Sideshow, chemistry, physics, and biology combine, taking science to the extreme to attempt a Guinness World Record. I've always been fascinated by the endurance of the human machine. As an extreme circus performer, I've had to learn to trust my body, its ability to absorb trauma, and its ability to heal. My partner, Amber Lynn, and I have gone on the road, testing the extremes of the human experience. Scratching is good, but uh, try and keep them alive. Oh, the whole world is my laboratory. My name is Ryan Stock, the guinea pig. I've got an idea so extreme, it's never even been attempted before. It combines all I've learned about sideshow science, but I need engineering genius Jeff J to help me make it real. The idea is that I wanted to break a world record okay. by swallowing a sword okay. and uh, attach chains onto the handle, and I want to pull a vehicle with the sword while it's in my throat. Serious? That's the plan. Okay. We're kind of reached a point where we need help of an engineer. We need to build a handguard curved to my face that we can actually clip off some chains onto. So that, that kind of keeps it from either pulling this way or right, pulling right. that way. Because, I mean, that's not going to end well. I see. You're going to bend over with us? Is that it? That's the plan. I swallow it down and lean forward. Okay. I can show you. Jeez. The pressure would come from behind him. The vehicle will be behind, and he'll be pulling forward. So you're going to have to have equal pressure from two points. Something that kind of curves around just to make sure that the sword isn't going back and forth in his esophagus. Right, right. Nervous. Okay, that's killing me. Take that out. Oh. My plan? Swallow a 41-centimeter sword and attach it with chains to a 1,600-kilogram vehicle. I'll need enough force to overcome the car's inertia and the gut to keep pulling it for five meters. So I actually have a prototype of what I've got in mind in the bag if you want to take a look at it. Yeah, why don't we take it over to this table and draw it up? We've designed a special hilt to connect the sword to the car, but there's one issue. There's quite the gap between his chin and here, and that could have a problem with pushing the right, sword right. back into his spine, out to the stomach, so we're thinking a brace. Yeah, what we can do is we can just put like a little gusset that runs between here and here. So looking at it from the top, we should probably go across here, put a little relief in there for that, and a key, and then maybe just put the, uh, the brace straight across here. Does that look good to you guys? Want to give I it a try? so. I'd like to see it out of metal. All right. Let's go. This hilt is the key to the stunt. It has to stabilize the sword while I pull the car so I don't pierce my esophagus. Jeff grinds the piece to fit my face perfectly, and he welds each component into place. There is truly no room for error. If this doesn't work, Ryan could die. That's cool. That looks good. I like that. Are these holes going to be big enough to uh, put the carabiners through? Well, I thought about the carabiners or a shackle of some sort. The fact that you're going to be pulling it this way, if you put a carabiner in it, it's going to put pressure on it laterally, and they're not designed to take stress that way. For this purpose, I think what you should probably do is use something like this. When it's up against your face, it can you'll have a nice straight line from this point to that point. Well, that looks really, really good. Uh, do you want to test it out to make sure it'll work? Yeah, after it's cooled yeah, off. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Here it is. Take a look at it. I think it looks good. Think it'll work? Feels pretty heavy duty. Uh, I guarantee it's sturdy. Your face will bend long before. Strong enough to pull a car? Absolutely. So what do you think? Want to give it a test? Let's try it out. All right, cool. Here's what I got. This is a digital load cell. Part of uh, Newton's law of motion is, is what we call an inertial frame. Force equals mass times acceleration. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually have you pull against a static point, and you're going to try and create the force. It's going to digitally measure the number of pounds per square inch that you're pulling as though it's the vehicle. We need to know if Ryan can handle the pressure. He's got a cool head, but will his body hold out from the incredible force of the car? Now I leave it up to you. Okay. Let's see. 
So I gotta kinda get underneath it. Yeah. Hey Ryan, you can do this, you got it. Thirty, twenty, forty, fifty. Fifty pounds. There you go. Good job. Fifty pounds of pressure. That's pretty impressive. That is amazing. Fifty pounds with a sword in your gut and pulling. I mean, that's that's crazy. But I got to be honest with you, man. I think a car is going to be at least three times that. At least, maybe 130, 150 pounds. Think you can handle that? I really don't know. The sword is ready. Feels pretty heavy duty. And today's the big day. I'm going to try and set a Guinness World Record by pulling a car from a swallowed sword. This attempt is so extraordinary, rep Danny Gurton will personally witness it. The atmosphere is intense. From conception to reality, this is our stunt. It's very cool, but anything can happen. Before getting started, we meet with Danny to go over the rules. This actually is very, very special because it's a first of its kind. No one has ever attempted this. It is measurable, it's breakable, and it's verifiable. And it really shows how people can push the limits, be creative to achieve something really great. And that's what Guinness World Records is all about. But what I do need to make sure is that once you swallow the sword and attach the cables, that you don't touch anything at all. The nose is lined up here on this line. Okay. You need the whole vehicle to pass that white line. Okay, perfect. If you stop halfway, I can't validate that as a record attempt. Well, what I needed to do is just make sure that indisputably, this vehicle really did cover five meters in distance. Okay. And there can be someone in there for safety purposes if they need to put a brake on, but we just need to make sure that you indeed are pulling this vehicle on your own. All right. Perfect. To lend support, some of my best Sideshow buddies are here to cheer me on. Alright, here we go. Right. You ready for this? I guess. Give it a shot. This is insane. So much can go wrong. The pressure is on. And I haven't even swallowed the sword yet. You're neutral? Records is the ultimate authority on record-breaking achievement. It's all about ordinary people achieving extraordinary things. I've personally witnessed your incredible effort, and it gives me great pleasure to certify that you have achieved the new Guinness World Record of heaviest vehicle pulled by a sword swallower. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's all go to the celebration. A Guinness World Record, something I've always wanted to push the limits and go down in history. And now, I have it. For me, being the guinea pig just doesn't get any better than this.